Hello friends, in this tutorial I am going to talk about the basic interface of Camtasia 9. So let's get started. In the left sidebar we can see the different type of options. In media tab we can add the different type of media for example video, audio and image files. There is also a library tab. In this library tab, we can see some built-in media library that comes with professional assets for using our project. In annotations tab, we can add a different type of annotations. For example, callouts, arrows and lines, shapes, blur and highlights. In transactions tab, we can add the different type of transactions. This transaction is really helpful for going one screen to another. We can add a beautiful transaction effect by using drag and drop. In behaviors tab, we can add the different type of behavior. In animations tab, we can see zoom in and zoom out effect. We are able to zoom in and zoom out. In animations tab, we can see different type of animations. That we can use easily. In cursor effects, when you record on the screen using the software, we can ask our mouse to give an effect by using this option. In the voice narration tab, we can manually add our voice using the features. Simply click start voice recording button. And this button records your voice. In audio effects, we can add different type of audio clips. There are also visual effects available. In interactivity tab, we can add a quiz to your video timeline. To create a subtitle, just click the Add Captions button. This is our canvas. This is our zoom in and zoom out effect. Basically this is the preview section. We can add the different type of media and see the preview on our canvas. You can change your media properties from here. And finally this is our timeline. We can add different types of the video clip, audio clip, text, transactions and much more. Actually this is the basic overview in Camtasia 9. Please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. If you have any query just comment below. I will back as soon as I can.